F-stops, shutter speeds, ISO. The most difficult thing about this in teaching it is when you teach one side of it, you got to teach the other side of it at the exact same time. F-stops is what I'd like to start with. This lets in twice as much light as that does. Or another way of saying it, this lets in half as much light as that. So our math is no tougher than divided by two. Anybody have a clue of where these numbers come from? It's as easy as this. Here's your camera right here. Here's your lens. And your aperture is opened to f8, let's say, right here. So this is f8. How did they determine that? They took that circle that's measured from here to here, and you turn it sideways. From here, lay it down this way, and guess how many there are between here and here? Eight of them. OK? I'm not sure if that's eight, but that's how it works. What you're going to find out is in the studio next door, by knowing these numbers, you'll know how, where to put your lights. F-stops and shutter speeds and ISO is what separates every photographer from every other photographer. It gives us the ability to make the picture look like what I want it to look like, not what the camera wants us to look like. Wait till I Photoshop. Rule of thirds. Bingo, bingo. Now shutter speed. They're just as easy as far as the math. Start with one second. Half as much light is a half a second, a quarter of a second, an eighth of a second. Guess what they did? They wanted it to be easy for you. They changed it from 16 to 15. From here to here is one stop. This lets in less light. Fractions of a second, how long your shutter is open and close. That's all it is. Let's talk about these and what they do for you. They let in half as much light. So that's part of your exposure that you're always trying to calculate. But not only do they do that, they control whether your picture is blurry because you have a heartbeat and respiration, but it's also whether your subject is moving. I think we missed Let's her. pretend I want to shoot a shot of a guy jumping across the building, and I want him to look like he actually stopped. I don't want any motion. I just want to catch him. She's going by quick. I missed her again. Yeah. Let me do it. So, how do you do this? There's no shortcut here, folks. This is called experience. This is called going out and finding out. Just so that people know here, it's a total disaster right now. She moves too fast. It's not a question of her moving too fast. It's a question we can't use the fastest shutter speed. Thank God that there's something called Photoshop. You want to know my, what I want, my solution is? Go the original way I was planning on it. Okay, now bring it closer to me. A lot closer. We get blocks out here and we set her up and make it look like she's jumping. That's pretty damn cool right there. Let's, this isn't gonna work, right? Yeah, let's take all this out. Take this out. We're done. Okay. We're done. We're scrapping it. We're not gonna do this anymore. We're gonna go straight to where she's not moving. Remember I told you I have to talk about several things at the same time before this makes sense? I'm doing that right now. Now here we go. I want to use a 30th of a second. I want to use a 30th because I want to pan the camera and I want the action, but a 30th, if I move the camera at the exact same time he is, he'll still be sharp and in focus, but everything else will be blurry and that'll look cool. So I've decided I want to use a 30th of a second. So what f-stop are you supposed to use? 32, but guess what? Your camera doesn't have that. Your camera only goes this far. So now what are you gonna do? No, go home, call it a day.
That's where I have to now add the third thing, ISO. Because that allows you to make these kind of decisions and gives you the freedom to say, I do want to use what I want to use, and I want to correct exposure. But every time you do this, you're giving up something. Every time you change something, like the ISO, and you're going from one ISO to a higher ISO so that you can do this, you're losing something. You're losing quality. But sometimes quality loss is better than no photo. You can't do this, go home. Because if you knew you needed a 30th of a second at F32 and you don't have F32 and you're not prepared to lose a little quality, go home. Because you're not going to get the shot. So, here's your ISOs. ISOs are just as simple as shutter speeds. It's just like shutter speeds. They usually start at 100. And then they just keep doing this. They just keep doubling. Okay, I could keep going. Usually though, those are the ones that you're gonna get on your cameras. By the way, the new manufacturers, know what they're doing? If they stop making new ideas in photography, in cameras, they're gonna quit selling cameras. So they're gonna keep giving you higher, faster, quicker, lighter, sharper. Well, one of the things they're really working on is ISOs. In fact, I believe Nikon has an ISO of 250,000. And guess what? You're going to find out in a second, at ISO 250,000, you don't ever need a flash unit again. You can put it away. Let's first start understanding how this works. When every time, when, when you want the best picture you can possibly get quality-wise, pick the lowest ISO number you can. My ISO is always 100 unless I have to change it. Okay? That just so it depends on lighting conditions. This is one stop between here and here. As you go this direction, your sensitivity on your sensor becomes more sensitive to light. As it gets more sensitive to light, it allows you to use faster shutter speeds or smaller apertures. But the thing you're losing is quality. So if you're prepared to lose a little quality, then you've got no problem. And I say get the shot. If this is the first time you're hearing this, you're going, what? You will not be a really good photographer until you own this. Because this is where creativity lies. This is where the difference between you taking a picture and you deciding what picture you're going to take. If you don't have this, then you're going to be out there and you're going to have your camera on P. And it was nice meeting you.